An Israeli airstrike in Beirut killed at least 14 people and wounded dozens more, Lebanese health officials said. It was the first such Israeli attack on Lebanon's capital in months and came shortly after Hezbollah pounded northern Israel with 140 rockets. Israel launched a rare airstrike that killed a senior Hezbollah military official in a densely populated southern Beirut neighborhood on Friday. It was the deadliest such strike on Lebanon's capital in decades, with Lebanese authorities reporting at least 14 people killed and dozens more wounded in the attack. The Israeli military's chief spokesman, Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari, said the strike on Beirut's southern Deia district killed Ibrahim Akil, a commander of Hezbollah's elite Radwan force, as well as 10 other Hezbollah operatives. The strike came after Hezbollah launched one of its most intense bombardments of northern Israel in nearly a year of fighting, largely targeting Israeli military sites. Hezbollah described its latest wave of rocket salvos as a response to past Israeli strikes on southern Lebanon, not as revenge for the mass explosions of Hezbollah pagers and walkie-talkies on Tuesday and Wednesday that killed at least 37 people, including two children, and wounded 2,900 others in attacks widely attributed to Israel. Israel and Hezbollah have traded fire regularly since Hamas' October 7 assault on southern Israel ignited the Israeli military's devastating offensive in Gaza. But previous cross-border attacks have largely struck areas in northern Israel that had been evacuated and less populated parts of southern Lebanon. Israel was involved in the production of Hezbollah militants' pages that exploded in Lebanon this week. The operation had been in preparation for at least 15 years, citing ABC News. A source within U.S. intelligence indicated that Israel may have been planning an operation against Hezbollah militants for at least 15 years. According to the source, the CIA had long been reluctant to use this tactic due to the high risk posed to civilians. It was reported that front companies connected to Israeli intelligence officers participated in planning the attack. These companies acted as a cover for the actual manufacturer of the pages and some employees were unaware of who they were working for. According to ABC's source, the pages contained one to two ounces of explosives and a remote switch to trigger the explosion. ABC reached out to the Hungarian company BAC Consulting, which had contracted with Gold Apollo in Taiwan for the production of the pages. However, neither company responded to requests for comment. A spokesperson for the Hungarian government said that the pages had never been in Hungary and that the company was a trading intermediary with no manufacturing or operational site in Hungary. On September the 17th, explosions occurred in Lebanon. It was later revealed that pages used by Hezbollah militants had detonated. The following day, a second wave of explosions occurred in Lebanon. Media reported that this time, radios used by some Hezbollah militants for communication exploded. According to Lebanon's Minister of Health, at least 37 people were killed and about 3,000 injured in the explosions over the two days. Israel committed a massacre by detonating thousands of pages across Lebanon, Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah has said, describing the operation widely attributed to Israel's Mossad as a declaration of war.
In a highly anticipated speech following this week's attacks, Nasrallah accused Israel of committing a massacre without regard for civilian casualties. This is sheer terrorism. We'll call them Tuesday's massacre and Wednesday's massacre. These are war crimes, or at least a declaration of war, Nasrallah said. Noting that some of the devices had detonated in schools, hospitals and residential buildings, the Hezbollah chief said the operation had crossed all restrictions and red lines. There is no doubt that we suffered a major security and humanitarian blow unprecedented in the history of our resistance, he conceded. But we have been hit hard. But this is the state of war and we understand that the enemy has technological superiority. It is also worth noting that Israel carried out airstrikes on Hezbollah targets in Lebanon.